what's up? It's Ruby. I've got my big cup of coffee here. I'm wearing my favorite Minion shirt. Everything's good. Um, just wrapped up a bench and shoulders workout, but today I want to talk about Johnny Candido's training program and my personal experiences with it. So for those of you who may not know much about the program, Johnny Candido offers a free strength training program that's geared towards beginners to advanced lifters. So the program basically has you benching two times a week and also squatting and deadlifting in the same session two times a week as well as doing accessory lifts. I really love the fact that he put squats and deadlifts in the same session. It was a new way of training for me and it definitely helped me condition my body for what was to come at my first powerlifting meet and it definitely helped me build my strength up the first time around. So the reason I discovered the program is because I've always been a huge fan of Johnny Candido's videos and finding his tips to be really, really useful in my own training and when I decided to do powerlifting, my boyfriend suggested I do Johnny's program. So we inputted my current one rep maxes and I started the program which was really exciting because I've never followed anything like it before. So I did this program for two cycles because I got such great results on the first time around. So I was aiming for really good results which is what I eventually got. So at the end of the six weeks when I tested out my new maxes, I went from a 185 squat to 215, 105 bench to 125 and for deadlifts I went from a 260 to a 295 max. So overall, I was really happy with my progress the first time around, so because of the results I got, I decided to do it for a second cycle directly after, and that was where I ran into a little bit of issues, and it's definitely not the programming's fault per se. I think I was doing the cycle way too close to my New Jersey State's meet. So I was peaking way too early and hitting a lot of volume PRs and hitting new PRs in the gym. So by the middle of the second cycle, I just could not keep up with the programming and with the new percentages based on my new maxes. For example, my new max was a 290 deadlift. Towards the end of the second cycle, I should have been able to pull 290 for three to six reps, but I just could not get past the second rep. So I just kept failing a lot of the workouts, even if I backed off a little with 10 to 15%. So I didn't get the results I really wanted towards the second round, but it's not the programming's fault, definitely. It was just poor planning on my part. So I was peaking way too early towards the meet and my central nervous system was totally burnt out that by the end of the cycle, I could barely do my warm up reps. I think personally as a female lifter, the program became a little too advanced the second time around. So I was a bit discouraged when I couldn't keep up with the program. So by week five or week four of the program, I started backing away from it. So I worked with my coach to see what would work to kind of get my confidence back and get my central nervous system a little more well rested. And so I took a deload week and kind of went really, really, really light on my workouts if I did work out. So overall, I'm a really huge fan of Johnny's program. I think it's great and it's really effective and it's a wonderful solo training program. I highly recommend the program for not only power lifters, but for any lifters in the gym looking for results that they couldn't find before or are looking to hit new PRs, or also looking to progress really quickly, but also really, really efficiently. So having New Jersey seats in August be so close to nationals in October, I decided not to follow Johnny's program again. But currently in my training, I just wrapped up a few weeks of conditioning with three sets of 10. This coming week, I'm going to start doing sets of seven and start dropping weekly and start cutting down volume closer to the meat so I don't peak too early and I'm not stressing my CNS too much. And I'm also separating squats and deadlifts on different days and seeing how that works out. So far, I'm loving it just because I can devote my energy to the separate lifts rather than trying to conserve my energy in squats and then doing deadlifts right after. So for anyone that feels like they're overtraining or detraining or just feeling really fatigued in the gym and not hitting the results that you want, I totally recommend just taking a few days off from the gym and using the time to re-energize your body going into your next workout. I promise you that it's so worth it and you're going to come back stronger. And a lot of times when your body is burnt out, you might be getting stronger, but oftentimes it's masked by fatigue. So when you're taking a deload week or you're taking a week off, you're gonna come back stronger almost most of the time because that strength that's been building inside of you starts coming out. So overall, I was really happy with Johnny's program and the results that I got from it. I love the fact that it's so freely available to everyone and I really respect Johnny for doing that and allowing anyone access to his programs and I highly recommend it. 
So after nationals, I think I'm gonna do another cycle of Johnny's program to see how my results are with that. So I definitely thank Johnny for his program for getting me into more serious lifting and helping me hit new PRs. And most importantly, for helping me get the confidence I needed going into powerlifting. So yeah, that's my experience with Johnny Candido's training program. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe, like. I will talk to you later. Have a great day, guys. Bye.